guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Alex. Hi, buddy. And Mr. Alex. He doesn't like me to be grabby with him. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as last week because I'm recording these all at one time. Because girl is busy this week. Things are going on. All right, not a terribly large haul, but this one has a lot of food items and like householdy decor, I think some seasonal stuff. But so let's get started. This I think is all food. It is. So if you watched my other video, I am putting together a little goodie bag for my for my Sarah and her friend. So I grabbed them each a bag of the Harry and David Moose Munch for them to take with them. Need to have a thumbnail. Um, this is the dark chocolate and it is Best Buy. September. Now, fun fact, Harry and David, there's a distribution center here, down a couple towns away from me. So that's for Sarah and her friend. There's probably some other stuff in here too. Um, I grabbed a can of Rotel. I love Rotel. If you've ever made the Velveeta cheese dip, that's what you use. And this is just diced tomatoes and green chilies. Alex, honey, let's not screech the glass. So I grabbed some Rotel just for me. Um, I also grabbed some sweet sensation sugar-free candy cane to try. I have a mocha coffee that doesn't have a good peppermint flavor added to it. It's more peppermint or more mocha. So we're going to add some of this and see how we like it. I didn't care for the vanilla, but it doesn't mean I won't like the peppermint. So I grabbed a peppermint to try. That's just for me. Um, also for me, I grabbed one of these bumblebee sun-dried tomato. These are like the perfect to go snack for me. Um, I can throw this in my purse if I'm going to be out and about and there's a spoon in here and tuna and I have a meal. So these work out great for me. I'm not sure if they're any less expensive at the Dollar Tree, but they're convenient when I'm in there so frequently. Um, for Sarah, I got her some organic brown rice just to have at her house. It is vegan. Uh, good through July of 2022. And it's just some of that pre-cooked. You just heat it up in the microwave and it's brown rice, which is so much more nutritious than white rice. And the brand is Tasty Bite. It is non-GMO, USDA organic brown rice. And I bet this is a great, a great buy for a dollar. So I'll send that to my girl. Um, also for their little treat bags. I grabbed them these Godiva chocolate domes because when you're relaxing, who doesn't need some chocolate? I'm not sure what all is going to make it into their bags, but we'll see. Uh, but these are great. I've gotten them for Sarah before. And then I grabbed, I think for her Valentine basket, this is the Lindor Caramel. Uh, Lindor Caramel, Caramel, however you pronounce it. I'm a caramel pronouncer. Uh, milk chocolate truffle bar. And then this is just the Lindor milk chocolate truffle bar. And these are great. Um, they're also good until September of 22. But I know she likes them. So I'm putting together an Easter basket. And I've already started buying, I mean, Valentine basket, which is also her birthday. Um, but I already started picking up Valent or, uh, Easter stuff. I'm not going to haul it right now. I'm trying to wait till I collect some more. But my girl likes jelly beans. So I wanted to grab the fun flavored jelly beans before they were gone. Okay. They have these, I feel like, every year. But I didn't have one, so I grabbed it. And it's just a base. Which you could fill with filler, put some greenery in it. I don't know what I would do with it. Maybe it will just sit on my shelf. I don't know. But I thought it was cute. I love the tree is kind of what I'm really liking. Oh, I found some gold toe. Now, these are technically men's. Um, but I have a wide foot, if I've not mentioned that 150 times. Now, these might be a little big for me. It's a fit shoe size 10 and a half to 13. So, I'll try. If they don't work, I'll donate them. But I love the print. And... I don't wear these in shoes because that drives me nuts, but I wear them around the house a lot. Just slipper socks. I like to keep them on my feet because they get cold. And um, these have the neat, the really good rubber back here. 
and their Aquafex Dry Cool Comfort. And if they don't fit me, my brother's moving to Myrtle Beach. Maybe I'll send him a pair to try to wear with his golf shoes. I don't know. We'll see. But I wanted to try them, and I thought, you know, we'll try them. I also picked up a lot of stuff here, guys. Let's pull some stuff out, shall we? Um, I liked these little roses, the little wooden roses. I think they are so sweet. And I also feel like I can use them in all kinds of decor. Sweetheart, Alex, Alex, what are you doing? What, why are you doing that? Can you stop? He's scratching on the glass. And I know why he's doing it. His buddy wants in. His friend is sitting on my front porch, Wellington, my other cat. He likes to sit on the front porch. Anyway, I got these wooden, or they're calling them ornaments, so they're just little roses. Let me let him in. Okay, he's in and we're all happy. So I grabbed these crafting. I feel like I can use, especially just the plain wooden ones, anytime. Um, I did get one more thing of the heart tissue, which I told you I would get more because I really like it. And I may be doing a decoupage something. And then I just grabbed two of these heart bags or plain pink bags because I like them. I I keep these on hand all the time for gift giving um, whenever I like to use them. I picked this up because I found it very interesting. It's a cling, but it's a world map and I love that. And I want to figure out how to get it onto like a piece of wood to make a hanging. I don't know, but I like it. So I just grabbed it. I figure that it will come to me but it's a complete world map. Um, and I like it. So I grabbed that, just, I don't know, figure something out. Now for craftiness, I found these not in my Valentine section at my one store. These were with the floral stuff and it's just vase filler and they're like diamonds. Um, they had it in red and clear, but then in another store I did find them in the, um, Valentine section, but these are just the diamonds. And I'm thinking of filling this because I'm not going to eat candy, so I'm not sure why I'm worried about putting candy in here. So we're going to see. Um, how many of these little bag ow of these little bags with staples it takes. Go one of these. Okay, that's one bag. I did get two bags. But I thought, let's just do it. Let's not think about it. Let's just do it. Okay, two bags it is. It's almost perfect. Oh, wait. I want to... There we go. Oh! <gasps> Oh, guys, I like it. I don't know if you're getting the sparkle in there. That is going to go, and I'm going to put something on it to deck, you know, to give it a little something, something. But if you're not putting candy in these, although somebody did leave me a comment that the jawbreakers that they sell at Dollar Tree work in here. Obviously, these are not going to work, these little diamonds, but I love it. Let's put it over here so you can see it. I think that is pretty. Okay, great, we have filler. So really, let's be truthful, any kind of filler would work. They also have the one at the store with the lips and stuff, that would work as well. I only found one of these, but I want another one. And they hold taper candles. Now this would be great just to put tapers on my mantle, but also to use as a base for something. I know we've used all the other candlestick holders, but I like this one and it gives it a definitely um, a different height. Or you could turn it that way and put a tea light, I think will fit in there. But I need to find more of these because I've only found one at one store. So I need to grab a couple more of those because I think they will be fun and no other reason. Um, I picked up a few yeah, that's it. A few foam things just to have on hand. I was out of the foam wreath. And I think this is a fun shape that would fit into, you know, to make different 
things. I have another one of these floating around. But I like to keep these on hand just for general crafting. And after the holidays, it's time for me to kind of restock a few things. And that was one of them. Same thing with this frame. So if you're not aware, I got a wood burner. I'm actually getting a second wood burner. It's I have it. I need to figure out how to use it. But if you have one, personalizing and then putting a picture in here in these frames for $1 would be great gifts. So I'm trying to figure that out and... Um, these are good practice blanks for me as well. So again, I sometimes I just buy crafting materials just to have them. And sometimes I have an idea what I'd like to do with it. Um, I picked up two of these again. Ooh, these are just to have on hand, but they are really great as like, if you wanted to glue some feet on these and be risers, you can stain them. I typically buy a lot of risers at Target in the dollar spot because like behind me, I have one underneath that copper candle. I love to have different heights and these these things make great risers for that. Also, I, have, I know that if you want um, the bigger vases, some people use it as a base. Some folks have even used it as a lid on these the bigger ones of these. Uh, no, sir, that's not yours, but thank you. That's, that's not yours, thank you. It's a cool order. I'm telling you, this cat is driving me nuts today. All right, so those are fun. Again, I don't have any ideas for that yet. Uh, these I do have ideas for, and I saw Sarah Jane on Chic on the Cheek make um, her version of coasters, and I thought it was a fantastic idea. So I think I will. Okay, I don't really know what happened, but it stopped recording on me. So, I do know over here, I was I showed you the yarn I bought. So I got two skeins of this, and I don't think I've showed you this yet. Two skeins of this red, two skeins of white, and two skeins of this white. This is chenille. Oh, it's so soft, and it really is fun to craft with. This is a 50 gram ball and you get 65 yards. So it's a little bigger than a worsted weight and definitely smaller than a chunky. So just keep that in mind. Worsted weight yarn, you're gonna get 50 grams and 109 yards. Typically um, a 50 gram or 100 gram is how worsted weight comes. I had to fix my camera. Um, at the store, if you see the long skeins, that's 100 grams. You get approximately 200 yards per gram. Um, but I thought I could do some fun Valentine crafting with that. I actually got it for a different project, but I've decided that um, I have, I, I picked up other yarn for that. All right, and I got my girl, the cereal. This is the Frankenberry family size. And these are all good until August of next of this year, August of 22. These are good until. So she has plenty of time. But this is a family size guy. This is one pound of Frankenberry. And then I got her the 10 ounce box of Count Chocula. <laughs> one. <laughs> if you remember Sesame Street. So the Choc Count Chocula. And then I got her the Monster Mash, which is all of the different cereals put together in one box. So these are fun for her. She'll mix, I think she mixes with Cheerios or something. Makes it a little healthier, but still fun. And I put it in the Valentine's Day bag for her. Um, and then the last thing I have, if I even know what I'm doing, I grab some more vinyl. And we know I have a love-hate relationship with this vinyl. But if you see the bottom, that is the color it is. It's like a rainbow. What? Guys, well, I don't even know what I'm going to do with this. I And I will tell you, this feels a little thicker than the other stuff. So we'll try it on my cutting machine. I haven't had good success with that. But if I cut out something large, then that might work. Or I could just use it to, like, cover something. But I had to get the rainbow the rainbow one because it's so fun and for a dollar like you cannot beat the price I just wish the quality was a little better but I mean obviously for a dollar the quality is not gonna be better <sighs> guys because it's a dollar all right that is everything I still don't know why my camera died on me but it did um, but that is everything I have to show you today 
So I hope you enjoyed. If you could like, subscribe, thumbs up, leave some comments below. It all helps my channel. And I will talk with you again soon.